Welcome everybody. My name is Sharon West of Sharon West Fine Art. I am a palette knife artist that is obsessed with texture. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you some really cool techniques for adding texture to your artwork. So stay tuned. So for this project, you'll need a palette knife, acrylic paint, black gesso, gloss and matte acrylic gel medium, a wood panel, a glass paint palette or a piece of acrylic sheeting, and spray varnish. So for those of you who are not familiar with paint skins, I wasn't either. Paint skins are simply the leftover paint from your palette that are created with a mixture of, of acrylic paint and acrylic gel medium. And so once they dry, you can actually peel them off and use them dried. And you, sometimes you can cut, but you can tear them and uh, make them into artwork. So this is an American flag that I created 100% with paint skins. It's a gessoed canvas. You can see the, um, let's see here, you can see how they, the texture, you can see the profile, the texture sticks out. Uh, it makes a really cool effect because you sort of have less control over the paint um, and that way it gives everything a little bit more of an impressionist feel. So for today's project, we are going to be doing a bouquet of sunflowers. So to do paint skin pro projects, I really like to use these wood panels because they really have substance to them. And when you're applying the paint skins, you need to sort of pre apply pressure um, so that they stick and stay on. So this is the wood panel I like. It has a, a nice one and a half inch profile. I always paint the sides so that um, you know you don't have to it does not have to be framed um, but I always start with gessoing it. So that's what we're going to do now. I'm going to add some gesso. This is Utrecht acrylic gesso. Uh, it's, it's basically a ground you lay down on the surface. I like to use black because black adds quite a bit of um, depth to the piece once it's covered with paint. So we just start the project by gessoing this canvas, and then once it's dry, we'll get started. So what this is, is a glass palette that I like to use. It's a posh uh, paint palette. Uh, and the reason I like to use this is because whenever I have leftover paint, in the past, I used to use styrofoam plates to put my paint on. And you know, after using them with a the palette knife, the paint would get really beautifully mixed and uh, it would be really lovely paint, but then I'd end up throwing it out because there's nothing I could do with it. So I'd throw away so much paint. But now that I'm using this palette, the paint does not stick to it the way it did to the styrofoam plates. So uh, when I have leftover paint, I just leave it on here to dry. And then I can just scrape it off with uh, a razor blade or it just peels off. Okay, so now that we've got our gessoed panel, I'm going to, and we've gotten all of our paint skin off this, this palette, I'm gonna demonstrate really quickly how you create the paint skin using this Utrecht gel medium. So, as you can see, I put quite a bit on here, maybe two or three to one of paint to gel medium. You can see that it has a real buttery texture to it. Uh, I'm just going to make a little bit of yellow uh, using the acrylic paint and then probably do like a little deeper orange I'll probably need for this project because I'm going to be doing sunflowers. So you just mix the two together. Okay. 
Okay, so now that we've made some paint skins and they've dried and we've scraped them all off the palette, I like to also, uh, sometimes when my palette is full, I can make paint skins just on this plastic material. So what I've done here is I've gotten them organized all by color. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, do not stack them or allow them to touch each other because acrylic sticks to acrylic. So if you allow them to touch each other, um, too much or for too long, you won't be able to pry them apart. So we've got our gessoed panel here, and so what I'm going to do is just quickly sketch out a little uh, floral bouquet. So the way this works is instead of having wet paint, you're using these paint skins and you have to apply it with this acrylic matte gel. This is what you, it is used um, to affix the paint skins to the canvas. And I like the matte because it sort of disappears into the background and it's not really, it doesn't really become part of the art. So you can control it a little bit more. Obviously, I buy it by the gallon. So, get my, it's good to have a stiff brush uh, for applying this. So, the way it works, you have to apply the paint skins um, in your image from back to front. So, since the the leaves that we're going to be putting in are on the back, are going to be on the back, and the flowers are going to fold over those, so I'm going to apply my leaves and my base first.
Okay, so now that we've finished putting our flowers and our flower arrangement in, I'm going to go back in with just acrylic paint, not mixed with any medium at all, so that the, the flowers are actually the most textured part of the piece. But we will be using palette knife, and that'll add um, an interesting texture and appearance to the paint. So I'm just going to be using my skinny pointed one here. Well, thanks so much for joining me today for this tutorial on paint skins. Uh, if you want to learn more about me or my artwork, you can find me on Facebook, Sharon West Fine Art. I'm also on Instagram, YouTube, and on my website, SharonWestFineArt.com. Thanks for being here.